Thanks, Dan. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, thanks to my co-authors. So um, the objective of this piece of work was to use projected climates into the future, into the rest of this century, for the upper North Island, uh, north of the town of Tokorua. You see the map outlined there. So we obtained NIWA climate data from back 1980 out to 2100, and that was daily data on temperatures, rainfall, potential evapotranspiration, and solar radiation. And we obtained that data on a grid scale of five by five square kilometer called the VCS. And you see those dots um, on, on the map there, each one five by five. Uh, and um, so, uh, and, 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 and that was the data that we, that we used for two uh, pathways, warming pathways. Uh, a 4.5, we actually got it for all four warming pathways, but we only modeled for the 4.5 and the 8.5 with the hope, with the understanding we will probably, be, the globe will probably be warmer than the 4.5, but hopefully not warmer than the 8.5. So we had that um, climate data available only for the flat and rolling pastoral land, so you can see about 300 dots there on that map. And then we got from Manaki Fenua Land Care um, soil data for those sites. Uh, profile available water. And those two data sets we used in a new model in New Zealand, a uh, basic grasslands model, which is called, uh, uh, abbreviated to BASGRA. Um, it is uh, quite a powerful model. We calibrated it for New Zealand conditions for perennial ryegrass. Um, and because we wanted to predict pasture persistence, the potential impact of this climate into the future on pasture persistence. So um, we, uh, uh, um, uh, um, we, we calibrated BASCRA and we used the climate and the soil data and our definition for persistence was the time in years for a perennial ryegrass pasture to decline to 50% basal cover. And the beauty of BASCRA is it can predict not only kilos of dry matter per hectare per day, but it also predicts population dynamics, tiller density. Um, and our definition was when it gets to 50% of basal cover, that's around 2,000 tillers per square meter. Very few pastures actually recover from that. So with that definition, you see the colors there and the names. We, we, we use those clusters of VCS sites with names so that we can better describe it in our paper. So with that in mind, uh, we ran the model. Um, and there in the top row, you see 1980, 1990, and the current decade. The key to this, this map is these color uh, or these heat maps. A low persistence below 2.9 years is red. The medium 3 to 5.9 years persistence is, is yellow. And then green is high persistence, 6 to 10 years. And you see from historic decades to the current mainly yellow, medium persistence, um, which aligns with what, what many farmers see in, 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 in on the average uh, uh, persistence is between five and seven years in the good pockets. A few bit of green there. But once we get to the, uh, the bottom left, um, we can see that there's a lot of red coming into the middle of the century and towards the end, end of century, quite a lot of red, low persistence coming in. So I'll jump immediately to our take home message. As for pastoral regions, and this is modeling, and th that is what this model tells us, north of the Bombay Hills, ryegrass persistence is, sits in the medium, a few pockets of high, and it's going to maintain, stay like that for the rest of the century, which is quite good news. The exception is um, uh, uh, sub-regions to the far north, north of Kerikeri, -Keri and the Dargaville sub-region. Um, the larger shift in persistence is predicted for the Waikato and King Country mega region with changes in persistence from medium to high currently to medium by the mid century to predominantly low by end century. It would appear that the western, southern, so South Waikato, Tokorua, Rotorua areas, uh, and the eastern boundaries of this mega re region towards the Kaimais, probably topo topographically dr driven, is, has got better persistence. Coastal Bay of Plenty, Tupuki, Pukahina, Pakatane regions has, has got poor persistence now, and it will remain like that into the future. Main message for dominant and very important dairy regions in the Upper North Island, Waikato, King Country, Waipa. 
it is predicted to decline in persistence to less than three years and less than 10 tonne dry matter per hectare by the end of the century. Thank you.